Hi everybody, Tom Merkel here. I'm the district manager for the Chicago, Illinois district. And as you can see, I am here at my local GameStop store. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside, take a look at the Xbox 360 Interactive. And uh, what we're gonna show you is that within 30 seconds, you should be able to tell if your Interactive is looking right as well as functioning right. So I've got my bag ready, so let's go inside, come on. Okay, so let's head on in here, and uh, Robot, I think, is working today, so let's uh, say hi to him real quick. Hey, how you guys doing today? Good. How's the Interactive doing? Good? All right. Well, I'm going to check it out. I think uh, we have probably a new demo disc that we need to put in, so we'll, uh, we'll get that and get you all cleaned up. All right. All right, so let's go take a look at the interactive now. I was here just a couple weeks ago for the Madden release, so we were in pretty good shape then, so we should be in pretty good shape now. Um, as we pan over, hey, there's the Connect uh, POP for GameStop. Uh, looks like that's up and ready and uh, looking good for the November release of Connect. Uh, so we're going to pan over here to the uh, kiosk itself. Now, on first approach here, uh, we're going to notice that uh, uh, they've added some uh, lug-ons to the screen. The screen should really be free and clean of that. So we'll remove those and get that cleaned up. Uh, also, the Crackdown 2 poster is still in place. So we'll, uh, we'll set them up with a new Halo Reach poster. All right, so let's uh, approach the interactive. Uh, first approach, uh, we'll notice at least the console and the TV are on. Uh, and uh, looking good there. So uh, with that out of the way, well, one of the first things I look for is actually in the upper right hand corner uh, and that's the retailer logo. Uh, the fact that we have the retailer logo there is a good sign. Uh, that means that the AV cords in the back of the Medusa are in their correct uh, ports. Uh, however, uh, here we are, we're at a GameStop store and uh, looks like we have the Walmart logo there. Uh, so we, it looks like we certainly have a Medusa setting that is off. So we need to get that fixed. Uh, the other thing that I'm looking at as well is uh, the Walmart logo is off the edge of the screen. Uh, that uh, gives me an indication that the uh, settings on the uh, console, the HD settings on the console are incorrect. Uh, the settings should be 1080i and the fact that the uh, Walmart logo is off the screen, that tells me that the uh, uh, it's not set to 1080i. Alright, so the second thing I look at once I get to the kiosk after uh, uh, looking at the appearance of it is I look at the console's ring of light or the ROL if you will. Uh, what we'll notice here is the ring of light only has three lights on. on. Uh, and as you know from a GameStop kiosk uh, it should have four lights. Uh, the two controllers and then the two guitars. The Guitar Hero guitar and the Rock Band guitar. So we need to take a look at that. Uh, Alright, so let's hand back here. Well, okay, we got the two controllers there, so we're looking good at that point. Right. And we're going to pan over here. Alright, looks like they have the new uh, Guitar Hero guitar on, so that uh, that's a good sign. And over here, we have the Rock Band guitar. So we're in good shape there. So we need to figure out why we uh, don't have four lights on the Ring of Light and just three. So let's look at the controllers first. Alright, so controller number one, uh, we do have a light on that one, but uh, gosh, look at those uh, the thumbsticks. Uh, those are all jacked up, yeah, so we certainly need to replace those. Hard to believe that that happened within the last two weeks. All right, so we're going to look over here at the uh, second controller. All right, maybe here's our cul culprit. Uh, the uh, controller here is uh, not lit, uh, but uh, boy, that sure does look like a lot of dirt on there. So we need to get that, uh, probably need to get that replaced. So uh, no need to get it cleaned up because uh, obviously we're going to be replacing it. All right, so uh, let's also look at a couple other things here. Uh, one of the things I look for is also uh, make sure the uh, deck is locked down securely. So that side looks good. And, uh-oh, that side looks good. So we've got a problem with the lock here. All right, and then as I was looking over here, I noticed that the, uh, oh, we got a, deal with the controller wire here. Gosh, that knuckle should be really inside the controller clamp and the controller wire should be in the controller arm. So we need to get that fixed as well. So we'll get that fixed when we replace the controller. 
And then the last thing I uh, look at is I want to make sure the reset button works. So we'll, we'll hit the reset button on that. The console's going to boot up here in a second. Ah, and there's another indication that uh, our HD settings on our console are off. Notice how the Xbox logo is in an egg shape versus the perfect circle. So uh, that's another indication that uh, the console settings are not set to 1080i. So we'll need to take a look at that as well. All right, and the last thing that we look at here is let's make sure that the current demo disc is in. Okay, so we're gonna hit Xbox highlights there. And then we're gonna pan all the way over. And oh, notice that we've got the uh, version 5.0 in. Uh, right now we should have the version 5.5 in at the very least. And since we have another team coming around and helping us out with a new disc, uh, we should probably be seeing version 5.5a uh, within the game stores. So we've got our work cut out for us. Gosh, I hope Microsoft isn't looking at this one. Hi everybody, we're back and uh, what we ended up doing is we ended up just refreshing the entire kiosk. And you can see it got a little sweaty uh, uh, doing it, so uh, let's go take a look to see what it looks like now. Okay everybody, so let's do our first approach again here. Um, first thing we're going to notice is make sure the TV and the console are on, which they are. And also you're going to notice is that Halo Reach poster has been installed and the Crackdown 2 poster removed. So let's look here at the uh, TV itself. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that the retailer logo is correct. Uh, as you can see now, we have the uh, GameStop logo in place versus the Walmart logo. And uh, it is in its correct location. That, so that tells us that the uh, console settings are correct at 1080i. So the next thing we're going to look for here is the ring of light. And what we're going to notice here is that all four quadrants of the ring of light are lit which means that the two controllers on the front and the two guitars on the side are functioning properly. All right, so the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to hit the reset button. And uh, as the console reboots, we want to look at the Xbox 360 logo and make sure that it's in a perfect circle. No longer is it that egg shape uh, that we saw earlier. So again, that's a double check to make sure that the console settings are set to 1080i. All right. So the next thing we're going to look for is appearance. Uh, it does look clean and free of dust. So let's make sure that the locks on the deck work. So we'll tug on both sides. Okay, we're looking good there. And then on the television screen itself. So again, we're looking good there as appearance. So let's double check that we have the correct uh, X-Red installed now. And unlike before, we have to now go up to console and accessories to look for the uh, version of the X-Red. So go to console accessories using the left stick, scroll all the way over to the right to hard drive. Select A. And we're going to see that the uh, latest version of the X-Red is installed, version 5.5. All right, everybody. So that should take care of your 30-second analysis of the Xbox 360 kiosk and uh, to determine for appearance as well as functionality. So thank you, everybody, and hope you're having a good time in Las Vegas.